I made this. I made the post uh, seven reasons to upload your brain, and I'd just like to go through that uh, quickly. That'd be really good. Uh, at number seven, I put sustainability and efficiency. Uh, as with like the green people. Uh, I, currently, we've got a massive like movement trying to get us to go to like solar panels, electric cars, batteries, all of that. Yes. But there are always going to be things that like humans will do that are going to like pollute, like cooking, uh, meat, all of that. Yeah. Like chemical chemical processes. If you become a robot, you don't need a lot of resources. Like, of course not. No, if you're a robot, you don't. I guess your only requirement would be power and storage. Yes, essentially, like power. And if you want to live as a robot, you need uh, like the physical body. That's that's it. Like entire entire buildings that you just wouldn't need. You wouldn't need like sewage stations because you don't need to go to the toilet. Right. You wouldn't need restaurants. You wouldn't need. Uh, nearly as much waste management uh like stuff like people chucking their mcdonald's cups into the side of the road it just wouldn't happen you wouldn't, no, wouldn't happen. need McDonald's. so sustainability would be like i think that'd be the last big jump to sustainability where we are completely like like the minimal input required uh what we've got here is uh hardware and software at number six um that's stuff like stuff like uh as humans we can we can do stuff to improve ourselves we can like go to the gym uh we can we can do like stuff like rfid implants but as a robot that that comes a lot easier you just upgrade whatever limbs you have i mean you could you could live as a car go a lot faster uh so that that that's okay. Cameras you have super zooming in cameras, wide cameras, cameras in other light spectrums, all of that. Uh, software software is a big thing. Um, there are the, obviously the surface level stuff like e-commerce. Like e-commerce is something you could have as like a virtual reality. So if you were buying, like buying. Um, or, or augmented reality. But if you're buying like a, like I've got, I've got here a Echo Dot yep. uh, Alexa device. I could, I could like have a virtual Alexa device, have that in my room, see how it would respond with augmented reality, and then if I liked it enough, I could like purchase it, or I could even get to the point where I don't need to purchase it, and the augmented version uh, yeah, is good enough by itself. Yeah, we noticed that when she was there, and I guess we. We've used the VR now. I use VR quite a bit. Um, it obviously, it tracks it really well. You know, your positions and locations. If it notices you've got a table, you know, you can obviously look around the table and it knows that it's physically there. Um, yeah, you can literally have a virtual device that's never there. Yeah. But you've purchased right. it, like, yeah. a digital purchase. Well, at that point, you don't even like. I mean, you don't really need a house. Essentially, you just have a space, like even like a storage container. Just in your mind, it's your it's a nice cozy bedroom, or you're like a nice place you can sit down and watch, like whatever film is on or something like that. Yeah. Or it can be all internal. You just, uh, you just upload yourself to the cloud and just not live in the physical world. Just live digitally. Uh, and then I've said, uh, gaming experience, which you've touched on. Yeah. Uh, but... Fully simulated gaming of all senses senses if desired i guess like, like you, uh, made, you made the mention here about ready player one's oasis i mean that perhaps is the most yes. visually mental example perhaps that people can get right now what that yes that's the closest like, yeah. in the media that we have i think uh but like even ready player one uh you have the you have the guy wade watts he puts on the vr headset the gloves and like the haptic suit and all that he there's still things he can't do that you can in a fully simulated reality like he can't he can't physically fly he can't uh feel uh temperature necessarily he can't have like radar or sonar like programmed into his brain we understand what that is it would still be just like a display thing yeah whereas if you're uploaded you could you could play like uh 
you can play like a, a underwater game as a submarine and like feel like you are a submarine. Yeah, I, I can see why. I, I can see what you mean by that. You can literally you already are the submarine because you'll have the sensory inputs. What would be uh, your ha- your persona being sent out? Yeah, or you could you can like essentially place yourself in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, like pour what the like physics would feel like in that and experience that as though you were one of the characters. Like you could like become Iron Man, Doctor Strange, Thor, anyone and feel like you are that character. Yes. I'm watching a roller coaster of a movie quite literally. I guess as these movies are made more and more in pure CG, not using any actors at all apart from their likenesses. There's no reason why, in fact, you can't just be a character on the front of a camera on the front of Thor's head and watch the entire movie as if it's a a whole movie playing it around you. Yeah, essentially. Uh, then we've got uh, super customization. That's another uh, the online like digital like internal stuff. That's that's a given. Like like in the Oasis and Ready Player One where everyone has their own avatar. But you could also do that in the real world. Like, in in modern times, we have people, like, I don't know how much of this you've seen, like, people with, like, their bodies just covered with tattoos or, yeah. or makeup or, like, these, like, piercings, like, everywhere. They're, they're still always limited to roughly a humanoid shape. Yeah. I, I but, get yeah. Like, as we mentioned, you could become an Apache helicopter. It's insane. Yeah. Or, or, or grow horns or a tail or um, have four arms yeah. like Dora from Mortal Kombat or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we got interstellar expansion. This is more about uh, like a societal benefit. Yeah, I, I like this uh, one when I wrote it. Yes. Uh, I don't know how much you like you follow SpaceX and that. I, not as close perhaps as I should do. Yeah, well... Because they they plan to go to like Mars in uh, early to mid next decade, but that's quite hard to do for people because you need you need oxygen, you need the protection, you need the food. But if you're a digital being, you don't need the oxygen, you don't need the food. You probably still want radiation protection, but as long as you've got like uh, some access to power and potentially an internet signal. To like have a backup so you don't permanently die. You could essentially go anywhere. Yeah, I think as we as we do, and I really hope we get out to space. I think we, and yeah. as as far as we know so far, we are the only intelligent beings in the universe, and I think we owe it to ourselves to actually uh, achieve our our dream. I mean, there's um there's a kind of analogy I often give to people about how we've changed over the thousands and thousands of years. I mean, what motivated uh, entire civilizations of people to build the grand uh, monuments that we left for us? In what What is the equivalent today? I think the equivalent today is to reach to the stars. I mean, we have to um, reach beyond our Earth because it is potentially... It almost feels like we're meant to. There's almost like this inkling that we should. Yeah. We always should get out there. Um, you know, maybe we do need to have the technology to do that. If we, I, so we, we can't even get past like the Van Halen radiation belts, not without extreme damage to our human cells. But to have a synthetic go out there in some kind of shape, and perhaps have them controlled by a human here, and that can be then changed to a different pilot or um, a different controller. Yeah, that that seems yeah, a very we can, option. We can send we can send the probes pretty much no problem. They can like go right to the edges of the solar system because they don't they don't require much. They just have to get energy from the sun and to transmit data back yes but if, if that suddenly becomes us then the like, you don't like a lot of the mass that there is for life support and all that just goes away it becomes a lot easier absolutely it, it, it gets past yeah. that technological boundary doesn't it because like, yeah it's, it's like fuel resources food you know air oxygen you don't have to take it if you're sending out you know an ai or or a synthetic human but I guess we, they touch yeah. on that quite a bit in Aliens, isn't there? There's the... Um, is it David? Is it David? Aliens? Alien? Where he... Um, there's an artificial uh, life that goes with him to assist them, and it ends up being the one thing that betrays them, which is... You know, yeah, the, Hal, uh, isn't it? Yeah, Hal from... Uh, I guess Hal's a fixed entity, isn't he, in 
2001 Space Odyssey. Yeah, that's, that's what the... Yeah, yeah. Right, and then uh, number two, I've said uh, knowledge. Uh, the fact that if you, if you like, as it is now, if like, you scroll through like, Twitter, people are quite slow at reading. Yes. Like computers process things very fast. Uh, humans to read stuff and especially to write stuff is like a lot slower. But if you can like process stuff as fast as a computer, essentially you could just like download the internet. I know that sounds like insane, but like it could probably take you still quite a while, but you could know like all of human knowledge and everyone could know that. Yeah. And there wouldn't be things like uh, exploiting people's ignorance for your personal gain. Because people go immediately, hang on a minute, that's not true. Uh, this is what's actually the case. Yeah. It would bring a whole new level to, um, again, fact-checking. Um, yes. Which I think I think we deserve ourselves to have that, a study in journalism as well, um, is to have you know important key information that actually is true, um, particularly when you're seeing perhaps the news skew it in a certain way for political favour or you know, because they're told to by a corporate sponsor. Um, to have raw news and information, perhaps for some people that's perhaps a bit too much, but uh, I think I think we owe it to ourselves to have facts on the ground. Yeah, uh, and then the well, for me, the number one reason to upload uh, your brain is literally just the immortality of it. Like, I don't want to die. I don't think many people actively want to die. I mean, obviously there are like suicide bombers and people like that that like seek it out. But like, to be able to experience all this time of human progression, I think that'd be amazing. You know, like to see us go from where we are now, where we're really inefficient, like, everything's quite slow, to like, like millions of years in the future, where like, say, like colonized galaxies, like potentially even found alien life, potentially even created alien. Yeah. So, so... Are we perhaps the first um, entity to actually create our own offspring that's actually not biologically part of our evolution? We've created something entirely from scratch? Because that's how we have it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's probably the first we know of, for sure. Yeah, well, yeah I guess we are. <laughs> we, we, we can't ask any aliens and then double check and fact check that first. Who, who knows? Perhaps that's what aliens actually are. They are just AIs being sent to us. These. I've heard people talk yeah. about these these greys. Effectively, they're all uh, emotionless and they have no um, ideas and thoughts, and they appear to be very limited in their interaction with people. When you can, if we sent ourselves into space, would we protect? Would we send something that doesn't have those things, other than perhaps just cameras and the remote ability to touch and sit, to see things? I, I don't know. Maybe maybe we are. They, aliens do come here, but they're actually just the AIs. But maybe I'm thinking too much. Yeah, I mean that's always been a like a problem with me in like uh, pop culture films. Yeah. They've always got these advanced uh, civilizations that are all still like their biological forms only slightly modified. Yeah. Whereas I think realistically when it gets to about like we're like human civilizations about 12,000 years old, like modern technology. Yeah. Uh, I think human species about like 40,000 years old or something. But I think once you get to like a certain age in the like a species like technological progression, they'll probably figure out. Hang on, there's no min there's no reason to stay to biological carbon-based systems and just go to like digital, like immortal. 